morning. So in my last video, I asked you guys to help me decide between do I keep my middle part or do I go back to wearing a side part? Overwhelmingly, you guys voted side part. So today I put it back. I even styled it. I'm about to put down the hairspray. That's how you know I'm committing. And I have to say, actually, once I styled it, I'm like, wait, I'm back. Like, I feel much better about myself with my hair like this, actually, than the middle part. I just kind of forgot because it had been so long since I wore it like this. But I did proper makeup today because I'm getting a visitor. Mr. Joey Kristoffa is coming to hang out for a bit. I'm very excited. I haven't seen him in... I want to say like six months because he was traveling to he was in england for a while he's been bouncing around and i did go to his house once to take care of his dog but he wasn't there <laughs> i haven't seen him in a minute and i'm very 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 excited to spend the day with him i don't know what we're gonna do okay so a while ago alani sent me their new not sponsored they just gifted it to me. They gift it to everybody. So yeah, that special. that's true. <laughs> yeah. This is the new one where Emrata is the face of it. They got some budget. Alani's got budget. They worked with Kim. Now Emrata. Who's Emrata? Emily Ratajkowski. Super huge model on Instagram. How do you not know who that is? I'm gay and she's probably a woman. If you're so. a gay, you should especially know who she is. Why? She's hot. But I like boys. I know, but the gays love a hot woman. I think too, but... This girl! <gasps> oh my god, yeah, I love her. It's see, case in point. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> okay, I get it. Cherry twist. I'm hoping, so the cherry lime, I'm hoping that it's kind of like a Sonic cherry limeade. Have you ever had? Yes. Yes. I worked at Sonic when I was 15. With the little roller blades? With the little car hop. Oh my I made god. So Did you ever fall? No, but I made oh so much money. Oh, okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wait. That actually is really good. I don't usually like their drinks. The only one I've ever liked is the Kim K one and the... What flavor um, was that one? It's just called Kimade. Oh. And I also really liked the Halloween, like, witch's caramel apple one they had. So what should we do today? Um... Are you going to teach me how to make it? <laughs> yeah. I have literally no idea. I've never even tried. Should I just make one now? <gasps> like an account? Do you even just have like, an account? I have an account. I'm just gonna do this already. Testing, testing. <laughs> Hi. Is this thing on? How do you do this? Oh, here's also a crisp, crispy Brussels. Yeah, crispy I'll do that Brussels. too. <laughs> Look at this baseball, god damn. She looks dry, dry <laughs> Oh, she's dry? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Not worth the hype. No. Mm. I kind of like it. It like, has a good taste. I just don't love the texture. It's a little grainy. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do that. Please look at where Buki sits when she wants me to feed her. <laughs> what are you doing up there? You hungry? You want chicken? You want chicken? <laughs> you got to quit walking on the stove. Get down. Don't really have anything going on for the rest of the night. Just chilling. I need to find a new show to get into. I'm not really like invested in anything right now. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I finished Queer Eye. I also watched a K-drama recently called A Good Day to Be a Dog or something. It had uh, Cha Unwu. It was just okay. 
It's kind of a depressing rainy day today. Like rain is actually pouring, which is very rare for LA. And I'm just kind of in one of these moods where I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I literally want to just sit here and rot for the next 24 hours. But since I'm vlogging, I'm not going to do that because I don't think you guys want to just watch me sit here and do nothing. So let's try to have a semi productive and fun day together. I wish I could tell you what's in store, but I don't even know. So. <laughs> So I'm finally going to try the papaya that I bought in my last vlog with you guys. And I have to say, cutting into it, I'm not sure this looks right. I thought the inside was supposed to be like filled with seeds and there was a bunch of like white stuff inside that kind of looks like it could be mold. So I'm a little scared, but here we go. I also went back and bought a lime because I saw multiple people in the comments saying like, you have to put lime on it. First, I want to try it just au naturel. I don't think it's supposed to taste like that. I refuse to believe that it's supposed to taste like that. I don't even know how to explain that taste, but that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the lime. It just doesn't really taste like much of anything, but there is like kind of an odd distinctive flavor to it at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's, that's not for me. Currently editing this video that you're watching right now. So it's kind of like vlogception, if you will. And I am having fun getting back into editing not on a time crunch. In the past, when I had to edit something, I would always wait until the very last minute to edit it, literally the day before I put it out, because I'm just a procrastinator. It's just how my brain is, or it's that's the story I've been telling myself for many, many years. But now, I'm forcing myself, every time I get footage, I try to edit it right away, or within like a day or two. So I edited most of this actually the day after I filmed it. And now I'm going in and I'm adding little cute things like location, like addresses of the places that I was at and stuff like that. And those are the details that normally I wouldn't put into editing. But now that I'm spending more time doing it and not waiting to the last damn minute, I'm able to. And it's very relaxing and fun. So I just came to the bathroom to check on my makeup, make sure everything was looking fine. And I just have to say, I cannot remember the last time my foundation has looked this good. And so I just felt the need to share this little tip with you guys. It's not even really a tip. A lot of you probably already do this. It's more of a reminder maybe. If you put foundation on bare skin, no moisturizer, no primer, no sprays or anything, just literally on your dry skin. And I let my skin dry for one hour before putting the makeup on. So I wash it, got out of the shower, let it dry for an hour, then put my foundation on, which believe me, is very hard for me because I'm somebody who has insanely dry, flaky skin. However, what happens when you do this is that the foundation actually can sink into your skin it can adhere and then when your oil starts to come out, which I do have like the tiniest, tiniest bit of oil, a few hours later when your oil starts to creep out, it just smooths it and it literally looks like it's your skin instead of makeup sitting and slipping on your face. I don't know why I stopped doing this. I guess because I thought my skin was too dry to do it, but. Watching Great Gatsby. I don't think I've ever seen this before, but it's visually so beautiful.
You guys, tonight's Suiga attempt was so close. I got the watermelon early. It was down at the bottom. Like, I had it. And then somehow I messed it up. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Good night.